Vladimir Putin's secrets can be found beyond Russia's borders. In Estonia is a man who fled Russia after falling out with Kremlin insiders. He says he helped Putin collect money from Russia's super rich. They thought it was for the nation's health care. So were these oligarchs effectively just paying tribute to Vladimir Putin? I think this is exactly what they thought. Sergei Kolesnikov says some of the cash was diverted and ended up with Putin. This is a recording of Kolesnikov talking to a Kremlin insider. They're discussing $440 million of investment belonging to Putin. They refer to him using a nickname, Mikhail Ivanovich. Then there's Britain's most famous Russian, Chelsea owner Roman Abramovich. He allegedly gave Putin a $35 million yacht like this one. Uh, hi, Dmitry, I'm Richard. Yes, nice to meet you. This man told us he helped manage the yacht. Dmitry Skarga says it was transferred to an offshore company, but the real owner was President Putin. This yacht was maintained and paid for running costs from state budget. Why would it be kept secret? Because it belongs personally to Putin, not to the state. We asked Mr Abramovich about the yacht, but his lawyers dismiss claims about him as speculation and rumours. The US Treasury has gone public with its view. The Russian leader is corrupt. He supposedly draws a state salary of something like $110,000 a year. That is not an accurate statement of the man's wealth. Uh, and he has long-time uh, training and practices in terms of how to mask his actual wealth. Is Vladimir Putin corrupt? In our view, yes. President Putin denies all the allegations of corruption. His spokesman said the issues we had raised were pure fiction. But one of the world's most powerful men, already linked to murder, is accused of corruption on an extraordinary scale. Richard Bilton, BBC News.